Okay, today is um, on the Gregorian calendar, uh, March 19th, 2016. Uh, we're looking for the, our Abba's spring turn of the year by witnessing his heavens. And we're using these sundials to do it. The bigger one, the X, is just right along the, the edge right here. And when I looked at this one, this one was set during Feast of Tabernacles. So the pole star was a little bit... A little bit different and uh, so this one doesn't read as well at Passover or the spring turn this for the spring feast but you can see it's better aimed to the pole star and you can see the X and this X will continue to travel as the Sun rises until it gets to solar noon and B the X will be here in the center just a little above that 10 and throughout the day it will stay the X shadow made by the north south line and the east west line this x shadow just moves along all day long on the on the dial and then after today the x will be won't show up on the arm any longer and you'll just see it at solar noon along the center of the uh, dial so today we are witnessing that it is the spring turn of the year for what they call the northern hemisphere even if we're on a flat surface okay it's a little bit later in the morning here uh, from our first video and like I said I wanted to keep taking uh, videos and pictures or witness uh, throughout the day so you can see how this dial actually operates I have a lot of questions all the time about it we have the plans and stuff that we, if you ask for it we'll send them to you uh, you can build it yourself. Uh, we have uh, one brother that built his out of, out of metal. This is made out of concrete board and then then painted. Uh, and basically, I have to paint it. We'll see how well this stain does this year. I have to paint paint it every year. But as you can see, uh, this is this is east. The sun came up right over there, and uh, this is north. And the the dial is aimed like if you're gonna aim at night you'd be looking right up this thing right here and i can't really see in the camera anyway you look right along the top like a rifle along this line right there and i look right on the top of the you know the other arm at the north end up there so at night you're looking at the polaris uh north pole star and so this is pointing north and then of course this arm's west the sun comes up in the east as it's coming up it's making the shadow on the dial because we're on the one of the uh, turned or the equinox days it this X shadow X that the say the shadow X it makes will continually move down until solar noon it'll be right here in the center I mean it's not gonna be perfectly on and this, this is a crude instrument but it works it works fairly well and especially uh, if you aim this properly at the North Pole Star and you also want to have these lines being this this X being an equal distance from here to here from, from here to here from there to there from there to there from there to there and that'll help with accuracy as well so you know using a like I said one of our brothers he used uh, metal and his dial is um it's not going to have as a minute, much a uh, potential for fluctuations and things like that so it's just sitting on a base that's mounted and there's an adjustment you know you'll put you'll have screws here because this thing this thing goes like this or like that so you can aim it and set it and we'll be watching this throughout the day this x will continue to move to the center and then so long as we still have sun because the house runs into us here on the west side you know the x will come traveling up this arm now every day after this the sun is supposedly getting higher in the sky above us here so this x shadow will come off this arm and you won't be able to see it until solar noon every day uh, you know when it's going down here until it gets to the summer solstice the highest point and then it goes back up here till it gets to the winter solstice and in the middle are the two equinoxes shalom shalom okay here we are about an hour later it was at 9 30 uh, according to their spring forward timing 
uh, you know, by the actual sun. It's still 8.30 a.m. here, Mountain Standard Time here in Colorado. But uh, they, they flip us forward an hour to throw us off of the created timing of our ABBA uh, to mess up our biological clocks and and just to, uh, to show control over who controls time and space on this earth right now and by the calendars uh, that we adhere to, that they make up and all follow, um, you know, we acquiesce to that. We get consent by, um, by lack of knowledge because we, we are destroyed for, uh, for the sake of, the lack of our lack of knowledge. So anyway, um, we're, it's about 1030 according to their time. Uh, again, it's 9, uh, 9.30 according to the sun time, so we still have uh, three hours before it'll get to the center right here, this X. You see the X? I'm wobbling around hitting stuff there. So, and that gives you a good idea of uh, what real time is versus their time. Because the reality is, is that the sun is still tracking at 12 hours a day every day. Um, yeah, throughout the year, the hours get shorter, or they get longer, but there's only 12 hours a day in every single day. Just like uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, our, uh, our uh, king and high priest, uh, had, uh, had told the apostles and the emissaries, yeah, everybody knows that there's 12 hours in a day. And the day begins at when? When the sun comes up, not at midnight or when the sun's going down. Um, if you read all the scriptures on the day and the night in uh, scriptures, you're going to see a pattern where uh, things began during the daytime. When the sun rose, the day bega begins at daytime. Um, so again, we're about 10.30 uh, according to the Gregorian timing. 9.30 according to the actual sun, the heavens, and what our Father controls and no man can touch. Um, but through delusion, we go by different calendars and different days and by uh, doing what we do here, which is uh, keeping it as simple as possible, which is uh, if we picked up the Torah and reread it, we understand that the uh, beginning and end of the year uh, is in the springtime, and it, and you begin your count of the of the feasts, the spring feast, um, uh, the after you witness. The turn of the year. The, the turn of the year is referenced in Scripture as well, and um, it, it's a, it's a main day. So we have 365 days, which we know and we've confirmed for four years now that there are actually 365 days because we've been watching this with the sundial. We come back around to the spring equinox or the turn of the year, as it's called in Scripture, every year, and. Uh, uh, our dial and the earth's not moving or the sun's not moving whichever is the case be it a round or a flat earth it's not moving at this point um, because we still have this uh, this dial that's sitting here that's still set up and and identifying the spring turn every year according to 364 days on a 52 week calendar and then what we call it is is the turn turn of the year day that's the 365th day so you don't count that one and you count the next day as day one. Um, and then you're going to end up with a, a very smooth pattern of 364 uh, day years with a witness day. And, uh, and, and the Shabbats will work out and the Sabbaths and the feasts. And yes, if you do it the way we're doing it, your Passover will occur on a, a Shabbat. Um, now, it's by Jewish tradition that, that this cannot happen. Now there's nothing, and there's absolutely nothing in Scripture that says that it, that that is not the case. So um, you know the difference between high Shabbats or or regular Shabbats. You know that, that's all man-made interpolations. Of course, there's also the the idea of the Enoch calendar that comes supposedly from the Zadok priesthood, which is talked about in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And they they start the their uh, uh, day of the week. They start their months the same day as the turn of the year today and then uh four days later is the first day of the year i believe is the way that goes uh today would be the no today is the fourth day anyway they they go through the all this interpolation of, of man's interpolation you've got to read different things and what people come up with and they come up with the idea is is that the first day of the week is going to be the fourth day when the sun was created 
So yeah, yeah, it gets confusing. So the point being is what we've returned to is just keeping it simple. If you just picked up the Torah and you read it, you would see that it, it, the the beginning of the year and the counts for the, the Feast of Yah begin with the spring turn. And then in the spring, and then also the, the, the fall feast begin with the fall turn, which, which, which on the Gregorian calendar and the pagan satanic calendars they call the equinox. The thing about calendars and man's calendars, Mishpachah, is the Gregorian changes every year from one one day. So uh, last year we were keeping uh, Fridays as Shabbat. This year it advances forward again uh, to keeping Saturdays as Shabbat. The, the, it's the Gregorian calendar that changes against the sky. And that's the neatest thing about watching your, for yourself is that you see that. And, uh, you know, the Julian calendar before the Gregorian um, uh, it, it required all kinds of adjustments and that's the Western world, uh, thinking or the Northern 10 tribes of Israel thinking, uh, you, um, and then you have the, he, uh, is Israeli or Judah thinking, which is their, um, rabbinical calendar this, this year, they're adding a 13th month at the same, this same year, the Gregorian calendar is adding an extra day, which they call a leap year. Um, the extra day because they say there's 365 and a quarter days. So every four years you got to have you got to add in a day to adjust the calendar to the sky. Well, if you do it the way we're doing it, you, there's no adjustments necessary. There's no additions of a 13th month or an extra day or leap year. Um, uh, you know, Buddhist or, or uh, Eastern uh, various uh, countries all over the world and peoples all over the world have calendars that, that adjust in all kinds of manners and ways, which and, and it's absolutely not necessary. All you need is a staff or, you know, you can have something like this, like a sundial. And you can see when the when the turns or the, the two equinoxes, the two days, the spring and the fall equinoxes occur, so that you can begin your simple counts to when our Abbas feasts are. And it, it's that simple, Mishpaka. The way we do it is we witness, we have a witness day. It's kind of like a, a half dark and half light day because at this day, from this day forward, the light on this over this the um, what they call the northern hemisphere is for 184 to 185 days out of 365 there's more light days than there are darkness and, and you got more light this is the beginning of more light than darkness so you know you, you remember in genesis when there he's talking about creation of light and darkness and uh or actually creation of light and uh and oh uh you've got a day of uh of this day is almost like um it's it's the it's almost like the beginning of the of the creation of light because you have more light from this point on for 184 to 185 days out of the entire year which is more than actual of dark days out of the entire year and the in the bottom line mishpakai is is that why mess around with the time at all it's real simple all you do is witness it you look at this you start counting um according to the feast and the um uh, in scripture and then you witness again for the turn of the fall, and you count for those times as well. And then um, what we end up with is uh, 365 days. The turn of the year day is the 365th day, and we count the next day as day one. So then you end up with a complete 364 with 52 weeks of Shabbat, which makes your count counting real easy, and there's no need for any adjustments by man whatsoever, leap years, 13 months, or any other uh, any other calendars on the planet, be it the Chinese calendar or the or a Buddhist or a Taoist calendar or a you know a, a calendar or some, from somewhere in the jungle, um, you just watch and you come around and you count. So anyway, there there we are at about uh, again 10:30. Uh, 10:30 uh, according to Gregorian. Uh, uh, switched uh, time against the sun. It's actually 930 according to the sun and uh, it, the X is still headed towards steadily towards the middle and at solar noon will be right in the center and uh, we know that this at two times of the year this is when the X ends up in the center and you can actually see the shadow on the arm for the entire day two times of the year at the spring equinox and the fall equinox and again you know, as the sun rises up, we come to the summer solstice down here, and it takes oh oh about eight to about eight to ten days for that summer solstice to finish. 
So you can't tell when actually the exact day of the summer solstice is, and then it moves back down and there's only two points of the year when you can, you can tell exactly what day it is according to the sun and the heavens and the, and the earth. And then you get back up here as the, as the sun comes down this way for winter time and then what they call the Northern hemisphere and it rises up here for the winter solstice. And again, it takes a, uh, it takes less days, about four or five days for the shadow X at solar noon to begin to travel back down the dial again. So the two solstices are very confusing days. You know, they can be determined amb amb ambiguously, um, whereas the two equinoxes are exact. And then if you leave something like this placed over time and you know it hasn't moved, which, you know, you know it hasn't moved, then if there are changes, when the changes begin in the heavens and on the earth to where he rearranges it, you're going to see it first before anybody else. So we'll continue with this on, um, and shalom, shalom, aliyah. Okay, here we are again. Um, it's uh, March 19th on the Gregorian calendar, and we're looking at the spring turn of the year. Um, the equinox again, um, as far as this way this dial is constructed, uh, with a west-east line and north-south line pointed at Polaris looking up the line right there to the top of this here to the top of this here we end up with an equinox equinox days that make an X shadow along this arm starting at sunrise up here at the top like we showed in the uh, previous videos and then coming down all the way to the middle by the time we get to solar noon and it's a pro um, approximately uh you know uh, 11 uh, 11 40 on the gregorian timing it's actually 10 40 by the sun which i've already explained in a previous video but i just wanted to shoot another one here at uh, uh you know 11 40 about an hour later from the previous video so shalom shalom Okay, so here we are again, and uh, we're looking at the, the dial, um, and this is about uh, 1230, uh, according to the Gregorian calendar, 1230. It's actually by the sun, it's 1130, and we're in Colorado, and uh, we're on Mountain Standard Time. I know it's confusing, uh, thinking about this uh, hour time change thing, and that's the whole point of that, that's why they do it is to confuse us and get us off of a natural law time that our Abba set up by the Torah of physics of the universe. So um, we're not uh, very far from solar noon on the spring turn of the year equinox day and uh, we're just continuing to report Okay, on we're on the, on the Gregorian calendar, we're on March 19th, 2016 and we're looking at our uh, three foot dial which I had talked about earlier that uh, I didn't think it was uh, on because we set it at Feast of Tabernacles. So, um, but uh, even with the small movement that uh, a little circle in the sky that the Polaris star does, you still get a pretty accurate readings as far as solar noon. And uh, I'm gonna come down here. I don't know if you can see the, the lines on the dial, but the X is right in the center. This is the three foot dial, three foot diameter dial. And then we're gonna come over to the uh, two foot dial here. And uh, it's uh, showing a little pass. You can, the, this, the, the north, and, north and south line here is uh, a little bit to the, to the right of the center here. But we're at solar noon and according to the Gregorian um, uh, pagan calendar and timekeeping uh, they have it at uh, one a little after 1 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time but in actuality like I said before we it's at uh, uh, 12 noon as far as the Sun goes and the sky goes in the heavens so that's our witness for uh, 2016 in the spring turn uh, the turn of the year is referenced in scripture and uh, 
we uh, appreciate you and thank you for uh, watching. Uh, may you witness as well, and you can do this with a staff. You don't have to do this with a, with sundials. A staff is the most accurate way actually to do it. And uh, you just got to learn how to use your staff. You can use a tree post that's straight, straight up and down or a telephone pole or, or whatever. But uh, you got to have a clear sight in east, east and west. Otherwise, uh, uh, you, can, you can construct something like a dial like this to keep the time and witness for yourself the times and seasons of Abba. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name, keep looking up always. Aliyah.